30 minutes left, so. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I, take that one. I hope you don't take that long. We're still got corners to go. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, the good part is that um, most everything that the three have said already falls into a lot of what I was going to say also. Um, what Ed said about the airport, I agree with totally. Um, the airport has, and I've been beaten up countless times on saying good things about the airport. We've already got the expansion grant for $11 million. That will extend that runway. Once that runway is extended, the corporate jets are going to be coming. There's one thing we've got to understand. We can't be short-sighted on the fact that Clark County is going to be in the perfect realm, or the perfect position for massive growth. River Ridge, Port Road, once that bridge goes through, we are going to be the hub of this area. We've got so much land, like uh, Lesson, Indiana Ammunition Depot, when they turned that over to us, it was a great thing. We, I mean, we didn't pay hardly anything for any structure out there. Uh, we have businesses now. We've got Amazon here. That's 1,600 jobs. We've got the potential for thousands more jobs. But the thing is, corporate executives don't, well, they value their time quite a bit. And they have a little bit of ego, and they're not going to waste 15, 20 minutes to drive you know, any further out of the way than they're going to. We have an airport that's 15 minutes or 10 minutes away from River Ridge and Port Road. They're not going to fly into Bowman Field. It takes them 45 minutes to get here if the bridges are open. So we've got to look at the infrastructure that we can start there. The airport's there. The airport expansion's already there. It's it's something we're not going to do. And I'll, I mean, something we're not going to have to build more on. The great part about that is the increased traffic is going to increase revenue because of the landing fees and the takeoff fees. While they're there, they're going to have to refuel. Right now, most of the planes that leave um, our airport cannot take off with a full load of fuel. They have to go about a quarter of the tank of fuel and fly to Seymour and then fill up. So that's also throwing us down kind of a bad road for the airport. But with the growth, you're going to have more tea hangers. You're going to have better leases on them, hopefully, this time. And you're going to have rent revenue from those tea hangers. It is not a rich boy's playground. Honecker out there is making tons of money and send it, sending their service out. They were talking about um, Wells Fargo flies in. Chase flies in for all this area. Checks are now a thing of the past and everything gets digitized, but you still have to keep the checks. There's one gentleman's company out there that the only thing he does is fly, fly around the country picking up old checks and taking them to one storage area. And he needs the headquarter out of here. So that's the airport. Um, let's